Today we're going to change the transmission fluid in your Jeep's NSG370 six-speed manual transmission. This transmission first debuted in the Jeep line in 2005 and is used to this day. It's quite common, quite durable, and quite easy to service. Before we begin, let's take care of two things. First, let's ensure that we have access to the transmission. On my Jeep, I'm going to need to remove my transfer case and transmission skid plate. After that, let's make sure that we have all of the materials needed in order to perform the fluid change. Two quarts of transmission fluid. It doesn't matter what brand it is, although we're going to use the Mopar NSG370 specific manual transmission lubricant. The reason why is that some of the components of this transmission, the collars on the synchronizers, are actually bronze. And so this transmission fluid has the correct additives in order to protect those for a long lifespan. If you'd like to use something else, there are about a half dozen other lubricants that will work. Just make sure that they specifically meet or exceed Chrysler Material Specification 9224. You'll also need a torque wrench capable of measuring 22 foot-pounds, which is the correct torque for both the drain plug and fill plug. You'll need a short breaker bar, 12 to 14 inches in length should work just fine. You'll need a 17 millimeter Allen as well as a 14 millimeter Allen for the drain plug and fill plugs respectively. Lastly, you'll need an oil change receptacle or some kind of container in which to put the old transmission fluid. Of course, once that you have the fluid drained, you're going to need to replace it. So I like to use these inexpensive fluid pumps that you can purchase at any local auto parts store for just a few dollars. All you have to do is squeeze the handle and any fluid that you need to pump out of the bottle will go wherever you point it. With the skid plate removed, we now have good access to both the drain plug and the fill plug. As with all fluid changes, you want to make sure that you can always put more fluid in before you drain the fluid. So we're going to start by making sure that we can loosen up the fill plug. Attach your 14 millimeter Allen to your breaker bar. It's also a good idea to take just a moment and wipe around the drain and fill plugs to make sure that we're working in a clean environment. We'll begin by cracking loose the fill plug. With the fill plug now loosened slightly, go ahead and install the 17 millimeter Allen onto your breaker bar and remove the drain plug and drain the fluid. Maybe helpful to hold the receptacle up, but you still make a little bit of a mess, no way around it. Let your transmission fluid drain completely. If it's winter time when you change your transmission fluid, it would be helpful to drive the vehicle around for 5 or 10 minutes first. That way the transmission fluid will be warm enough that will drain quickly and completely. Now had I been smart, I would have actually removed the fill plug entirely before removing the drain plug. The reason why is you may get some splashing as the fluid comes out in spurts. Now that all the fluid is done draining out of the transmission, let's take our drain plug and you'll notice that there is some residue on the magnet on it. That is just, uh, quite frankly, material out of the inside of your transmission from wear and tear. Hopefully there are no large chunks on the magnet. There aren't here. So let's go ahead and clean that off. Let's use a paper towel. Wipe off any excess transmission fluid that is around the opening of the drain plug. Reinstall your freshly cleaned drain plug.
tightening to 22 foot-pounds of torque. If you haven't already, go ahead and finish removing the fill plug using your 14 millimeter Allen. Now using our inexpensive fluid transfer pump, we're going to put the hose to the pump into the transmission and pump the handle. It's going to take two quarts or maybe just shy of that. Officially it's 1.9 quarts. You know you're done when the fluid begins to come out the fill hole. Alright, now that fluid is coming out of the fill hole, you can go ahead and replace the fill plug, tightening it to 22 foot-pounds of torque. Wipe off any remaining transmission fluid you may have spilled in the process, and you are all finished. Congratulations, you have successfully changed the transmission fluid in your Jeep model NSG370 manual transmission.